Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you a video entitled Tesla S Semi Strong. And um, I ended yesterday's video of the Giga Semi Factory following this truck as it, as it left the, um, as it drove alongside the west end of the building um, and to parts unknown. And uh, today in this video, we'll follow it it heads out, spoiler alert, it heads over to the um, pilot production line at 550 Milan, which is not far away. And, um, and then after that, since we're already over there at Milan, we take a quick peek at the um, LFP factory at 385 Milan. And uh, it seems fairly quiet over there today. It looks like they all took it, they all got the day off. Anyways, I'm going to uh, leave you for a moment and just watch this Tesla Semi uh, make its way over to the, uh, to the uh, pilot production line. So this uh, Tesla Semi Bobtail, that is a semi without trailer, is turning right on Electric Avenue on the uh, inside of the Tesla property and about to go through the uh, guard gate. Poetry in motion. That's probably what I should have called the video. In any event, here we go. We're going to follow it and uh, see where it leads us. At this time, I have no idea actually where it's going to go. Again, in, yesterday, in the previous video, I speculated that it's about to go get a, a flatbed trailer and go move some of that um, crating material and the wooden pallets, as we've seen in past video. There he's going by the guard gate. Now he's on Electric Avenue, where anybody can drive. He's pulling into the Tesla Pilot Production building on Milan. Milan 1, they call it. And then my uh, suspect drone flying skills lose it for, for a minute. Very exciting uh, footage of the pavement. So if you, just for fun, you can count how many Tesla semis you actually see in this uh, on the eastern edge of the building. I'm counting one, two, three. I believe that's the one we were following. I can't be sure. Four. Those diesel semis may have been purchased to, um, to piggyback one or more Tesla semis for delivery um, to further locations outside of the existing megacharger network. Here's number five, number six, number seven.
like all EVs, Tesla semis run through tires pretty quickly. Number eight, bunch of fairings, which tells me they're still building um, prototype Tesla semis in this building. Hopefully those will be um, the new model, the refreshed model with the, um, the only real visible sign is the light bar. And trust me, I am doing everything I can to get, um, to get some independent drone video of that Tesla semi, which I know is somewhere in the neighborhood. It's either inside the pilot production building here, or it's up at the um, Giga Semi, would be my two strong guesses. And um, I am trying to, uh, every time I drive out here to, to take these videos, these drone flights, I am I got my eyes peeled for any opportunity to see it. I spent a little bit of time on this wondering what the heck this was but turns out to be a nothing burger, as they say. There's number eight, number nine, 10, 11, 12 Tesla semis so far in this video, and a bunch more fairings right there in those crates. Taking a look around at the high desert terrain, and now this is the LFP factory at 385 Milan. Again, this is probably one of the most densely packed industrial uh, locations I've ever seen. They um, are spilling out into the um, surrounding perimeter of this prefabbed um, industrial building. Unlike many, unlike the Giga Semi, a lot of this is permanent. It's not going anywhere. It's not just during construction. This LFP factory is in. Production. They are producing LFP batteries. I speculate that they're cloning that LFP line that they purchased from CATL and operate independently. And um, I see no reason why they wouldn't be attempting to uh, replicate that line once or twice more if um, inside this building. I think the mega packs are a tremendous opportunity and highly needed in the uh, today's energy grid, especially with the advent of all of the AI server server farms that are being put in both here locally, which I've mentioned in the past. There's at least four or five AI server farms, including the five. $3 billion Vantage one that's nearby on Electric Avenue. And look at all this. That, this is what tells me they're still, they're still building. And here's a beautiful look at um, a crisp Sunday morning in northern Nevada. I think the temperature was in the 40s. I wore my parka, but my hands did not freeze off. To the bottom right is the um, Tesla Semi Pilot production line. Top right is Giga Semi. Above that to the right is uh, Giga Factory One. 
and that band of white is a huge band of um, diatomaceous earth. And there is an active mine, and that mine had to move because they ran into a pocket of arsenic. And the, lo the source of that arsenic was probably a volcanic. So um, they moved the mine at several hundred yards to an area that didn't have that arsenic. To me, it's just mind-boggling that this many uh, diatoms could have existed and settled in this one area, but apparently it is so. You can see the uh, my uh, the, te the Zangler the Tesla Semi Advocates Model S Plaid. I'll, I'll tilt the camera down here in a second. I just think that is a nice view of the area. This pad was going is going to be uh, Milan, the second of the Milan twins. Once they start construction here, I will have to find a new drone flying location. This is a really nice spot because it's at the same elevation as Giga Semi. And now the world's fastest drone support vehicle. Comes into view. Thank you very much for joining and uh, see you next time.